And also with this egg, um, normally they don't want it too hard as far as the outer edges, so try not to get a lot of browning in this one. Now, before I put it on the customer's plate, I've got my color, but before I put it on the customer's plate, since I got extra oil, I'm going to pour some of that oil off. Okay, so it's your responsibility to get some of that oil off of that. Then you put it on the plate. Okay, again, those eggs need to be more centered than that. All right, that's one way of doing a basted egg. The other way of doing a basted egg, or eggs, Use two eggs again. I'm going to put the normal amount of oil in the pan. Put the eggs in just as I would do if I'm frying eggs. Control my temperature. Actually, I like a little higher temperature here. The difference with this base today is that I'm going to add liquid, water. So basically what I'm doing is poaching the egg. I'm going to cover it. And I'm doing all this right in front of the customer. I got my other pan. You always have a backup pan. Okay. I'm creating some steam. And by creating that steam, I should get the same effect that I got by basting that egg. Ooh, it's going. Ooh, Ooh nice. Nice. This is better than earlier today. Ooh, that's nice. All right, so you can see how the egg is starting to turn color, and I got water, liquid, and everything in there. I need to leave that on and stop playing with it, because it doesn't take that long to cook it. You keep the heat up high, and you cook it, and you put it on the plate. All I want to do is get it discolored just a little bit, get a little clear. If I, if I kept it on there long enough, I would have been done. All right, I'm done. All right, so see... I cooked the yolks just a little. I poached the yolks. That's what I did. Okay? That's what I did. Not a whole lot of browning going on here. Oh, this may be the best one yet. Look how those eggs are centered. Oh, my God. Centered eggs. I mean, that is great. That is wonderful. Um, that method is recommended. All right, it's done. Oh, man, these are good. Let me get them out. Oh, those are nice. Very nice. Very nice. Ashley. Um, all right, let me wipe this pan out because this is my seasoned pan. I don't want to ruin that. You will have to, after you put liquid in it, you will experience some problems if you don't. Get that liquid out and put some oil in and burn it off real fast. Okay. I'll get my pan back. So you got, I've shown you the two ways of doing um, basted eggs, or I think it's, the other name is country style eggs or whatever. Okay. What's another egg that you have to do on your competency list? Sheared eggs we will do later on. In class, seared eggs are done in a, in a casserole or a ramekin. Uh, you crack your eggs. Um, you can spray these or butter them. You crack your eggs. Um, sometimes you want to do it with ingredients. So you crack it and you put the ingredients in, put the egg in there, and you basically cook it in an oven. Okay? You serve it in the same ramekin or you can turn it over 
And if you have different ingredients in there, it looks very pretty. Okay. Um, what's another egg that you have to do? Oh, scramble. Uh, you know, I, I'm not even going to lower myself to do that. Skip it. Everybody knows how to do a scrambled egg. Now, you know, I am going to do a scrambled egg because we had some problems earlier today. So I am going to do a scrambled egg. Um, matter of fact, go, go to the prep cam for just a minute. Let me show them something. On your scrambled egg, and you'd be surprised how many people do not understand the scrambled egg. Can you see this? All right, I've cracked my egg in the bowl here. Um, you need to learn, if you're cooking eggs for people, you need to learn how to use a fork and scramble your egg up. There's a couple of methods you can do. You can crack the egg in there and, and go like that. But it's easier if you put a little liquid in there to help you out if you're doing a scramble egg. It could be water, it could be milk, okay? What that does is help break the egg up a little better. And um, take your fork and you mix it up. I've seen, uh, today I saw so many people, this one little simple task, they did not do it correctly. What they did was they, they mixed it and the albumin was still solid. The yolk was not separated from the thin layer of the whites. So when they cooked the egg up, I had a tri-colored egg, scrambled egg. I mean, who can't make scrambled egg? Give me an even color there, okay? Don't have tri-colored eggs. Mix that egg up, a little circular motion there, pick up on it. You can put a little liquid in it if you want. That's the chef's secret. If you're a chef, you know this stuff, okay? Nobody else probably won't know, but you know it. Okay, that breaks it up a lot better. Um, if you whip it too much, you'll whip too much area into it and make it fluffier and, and too good for you, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, see how even, the even color on that? I don't have half of it white and half of it yellow. That's ridiculous. Uh, I was very surprised when I saw that today. I didn't think I had to, you know, teach the technique of mixing up an egg for scrambling. I mean, everybody knows that, but I had to. So I guess you, you can't assume everything. All right, so I got it nice and mixed. So my next step, and I was very surprised at the book. At this book, I'm not saying it's, it's not right. Uh, I guess they have to tell you um, the professional way of doing things when they were talking about using the fork in the pan. Uh, I hesitate, I cringe when I see people using a fork in the pan because most people don't know how to do it. But if you have to use the fork, again, use, use it flat and not sticking in there and scratching up a pan like this. I mean, uh, we, these pans will last you for years if you do it right. All right, got my, scram my egg scrambled. Now, the customer's choice here. If the customer says soft, you go with a low heat, you start your oil, you put it in there, and if you use, don't use a fork. I'm not going to let you use a fork. I'm not even going to show you that. Don't use a fork. Okay. A soft scramble, I've heated it up. I'm going to scramble it real fast, and I'm getting it out of there. That's real soft. I'm not even going to cook it any more than that. Okay, that's a soft scramble. Egg. It's even color. Let's put it right there. Even color, you don't see any, um, the yolk separated from the white and all that. It's very even. It's a very nice soft scrambled egg. 